Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Maths with Shivangi Nagar. I welcome to you all in my today's session. In this video session, we will discuss the question number 8 of the exercise 13.7. This question is also important it is, and it is of the same profile of the question number 7. Only the thing is what? It is revolved along the other side. Okay, so let's get start with the question where the question says, if the triangle ABC in the question number 7 is above is revolved above the side 5 cm then find the volume of the solid so obtained and find also the ratio of the volumes of the two solids obtained in the question number 7 and in the question number 8 see in the question number 7 also we have this triangle but in that question number 7 we have revolved this along this side AB right but here in the question number eight we are given a task that now revolve with the same right angle triangle by what by this side bc now always students remember in such type of question when you are given a right angle triangle and you are given that from this side you have to revolve so that side from which you are revolving it it is always taken as a height and the other side which is not the hypotenuse that would be taken as the radius clear yeah hypotenuse will always remain what slant height so what thing you have to remember in these type of question now from the previous question and from this question we have concluded that whenever we are given a right angle triangle like this abc and if it is given that uh, along with this side you have to revolve uh, so that side which along which you are revolving is always taken as what always taken as the height so here we have to revolve around, along the 5 centimeter so definitely now in this uh, case this is what height and the side which is other than the hypotenuse that means I'm talking about this 12 centimeter so now this will be what acting as the radius okay and again the solid that we are obtaining here is what again this cone clear so what we have to do here we have to find the volume of this type of cone where the radius is 12 centimeter and the height is what 5 centimeter and then after that we have to find out the ratio of the volumes of the two cones which we have obtained in the question number 7 and in this question number 8 so first of all in the question number 7 what was the volume it was 100 pi so let's say let volume of question 7 is what v1 which is what 100 pi centimeter cube okay that we have already calculated now in this question first we will calculate the volume and then we will take the ratio so all these things we i have written over here abc is a uh, right angle triangle which is right angle at the b here ac is acting as a hypotenuse which is a 13 centimeter ab is 12 and bc is what 5 centimeters so when i am revolving along the side bc again we get we what we will get we will get a cone type of a solid now but here the radius is what 12 centimeter and the height is what 5 centimeter because this time we are revolving along this uh, 5 centimeter so the volume of the solid obtained cone is what again the same formula 1 by 3 pi r square h so let's calculate it the volume of this cone so volume is 1 upon 3 into pi now what is the radius here radius here is 12 so 12 into 12 into what is the height is 5 this 3 cancels this 12 how many times 4 times so what we are left over with so 12 5 times 60 here and 64 times is what 240 so 240 pi centimeter cube so let's say this volume is v2 so what we have to take out we have to find out the ratio ratio of what v1 upon v2 that means the volume of the previous question and the volume of this question number 8 so what is the v1 so v1 we know it was 
100 pi and what is the v2 it is what 240 pi pi se pi cancel over and 0 cancels is 0 so we are left over with 10 upon 24 can we cancel them further yes so this 2 5 times and this is 2 12 times so what is my ultimate ratio so the ratio is what to 5 is to 12 this is my ratio so the ratio obtained is 5 is to 12 and the volume so obtained is what 240 pi you can plug the value of pi also here but uh, I know the question so that's why in the previous question also I have read let my answer in the ending in the pi form and here also in the pi form because uh, I know I know that in the question number 8 I have to take out the what ratio of the volume of these two questions in these two situations okay so this is what all about in my this video if you get the solution if you like my video do give me a thumbs up do share with your friends and if you're new to my channel and still if you have not subscribed my channel then please do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my video till then bye bye take care see you in my next video with the next question